Hey guys, welcome back to the Read Bunch. So today I'm at school. Sorry, I thought I heard my kids coming in. Today I'm at school and I've been thinking about what I want to put up on my channel. And so I thought I'd just talk to you guys and let you know that I have been feeling terribly underappreciated. Like, it seems like I do everything for everybody and very few people do much for me. People do do stuff for me. But I've noticed that when I really, really am starting to feel down, random people will text me and say, I love you, I just want you to know that. And I just think that it's so sweet and, and I know that God is looking out for me and helping me through these rough times, especially when I feel like this. But there are some things that I did <clears throat> recently for myself that um, – I did for the purpose of improving how I felt about just myself and all that good stuff. First thing I did was, I was like, you know what? I never go to Starbucks. I never get anything for myself. So guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go to Starbucks. I'm gonna get me a $5 macchiato. That's what I did. I went to Starbucks, I got my macchiato, but before I went in, my child said, mama, what you gonna get us? Can we have hot chocolate? No, you cannot. Because I'm going in the store because I feel unappreciated. I'm going to get something for myself. No, I'm not getting anything for you. You're going to be fine watching me drink my cup of joe, okay? So I went in, got my macchiato, came on up out of there, took a couple of sips of it in the car on the way home, set it on the kitchen counter. I go to handle different things throughout the house. People needed help with this or that come back to my macchiato so that I could sit down and finish it, and it was gone, okay? This is what I mean. People don't appreciate me. They wouldn't even give me the space and the time that I needed to finish my macchiato. They took it. You know what it was? It was that little, that little spider, that Grace. That's the one who did it. Because I looked her in the face and I said, did you drink my macchiato? She said, Yes, but I'm very sorry. Mm -mm. See? See that? That's what I'm talking about. <clears throat> so, I decided to go another route. I got myself. Let me see if I can show you. Boom. An Apple Watch. Will that make me feel better? No, let me tell you why. It comes with no instructions. I have no idea how to use this stupid Apple Watch. And I'm just like... Now I got to do more work because I got to get on YouTube and I got to get online and figure out how to use the dang on Apple Watch. So skirt on that one. That, that wasn't as successful as I would have liked it to have been. So I decided, you know what? Let me craft because that's what I love to do. That's something that I love to do. Let me do that. So I go get me some canvases, some twine, some fabric. I'm feeling really spicy. Paint brushes, acrylic paint, and I'm like, I'm going to make something design something and I started it and was like what is this what am I this is not hot I don't this is not coming it's not mm, mm -mm. one of my children said mom let me help you I want to help so I, I didn't even get to necessarily do that alone. However, I'm posing this question to you. When you're feeling down, when you're feeling unappreciated, when you're feeling like you need to pick me up, what are some things that you do for yourself that help stress relieve? Maybe you work out. I don't know. Maybe you eat goo gobs of ice cream. I don't know. Sometimes that's what I want to do, but it's not. See, the watch is dinging. Why is it dinging? I don't know. I don't understand how to work it. Oh, I hit the camera. Oh, it's a text message. I can't worry. Anywho, let me know what you do when you get down, when you get stressed. How do you stress relieve? What do you do for yourself to make yourself feel better? All right. Have a blessed day today. Bye.